Happy Friday. Uh, so you should have your math test out and a pencil. Please do not write in pen, Alex. Um, anyway, uh, and it should be test number 28. And it should look like this. I don't want to show you it too quick because I have the answers. Um, but it has flowers down at the bottom of the page. See there? Um, and it should be 28. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get started. You are writing um, the answer to the math sentence, I say, like usual. Okay, 1a is 16 minus 8. 16 minus 8. B is 5 plus 9. 5 plus 9. C is 9 plus 8. 9 plus 8. D, 11 minus 2. 11 minus 2. E, 7 plus 8. 7 plus 8. F, 4 times 2 minus 6. 4 times 2 minus 6. Okay, in the second section of your test, you are going to write the number that I say. It could be money, it could be a fraction, um, and but this is all to help you with um, place value, okay? So 2a is 9 and 1 half. 9 and 1 half. B, 6,034. And remember, if I don't say a number, remember to hold that place with a zero, okay? So that number again was 6,034. C, 21,300. 21,300. And D, $59.09. $59.09. Okay, pencils down for a second, and I just want you to listen. Uh, number three, you're rounding to the nearest 10, okay? And remember our rule with, if there's a five in the ones spot, what do we do? I'm not gonna tell you, but there's a special rule if there's a five in the ones, okay? Number four, write the sums and differences. And some of you are not showing your work if you're carrying and borrowing. I will start taking points off for not showing your work. Because how do I know you didn't get mom or dad or big brother or big sister to give you the answer? I need to see your work or you will get points off, okay? If you're borrowing, I should see the numbers being borrowed, crossed out and all that stuff. And if you're carrying, I should see the numbers that you're carrying also. Okay, I need to see all that. Don't just give me an answer. Okay, on the back of your test, flip it over, there should be clocks. Okay. <clears throat> Number five, we worked on estimating the sums. Okay, you're not giving me an answer. Okay, so I want to give you an example. Okay. So for estimating sums, If I had this down, 
what I need to do is round each number to the nearest tens, okay? I would round 34 to 30, and then I would round 42 to 40. And then you add these two together, okay? And 30 plus 40 equals 70, okay? That is how you're doing number five on your test. So hopefully you understand that. Um, so you can show me your work there too. Um, number six, writing the times, okay? You're writing the time. Then the first orange clock is two hours later. Then make sure you put the hands on the other clock, okay? And the blue or purple clock, whatever that is, um, you're writing the time and then a half hour earlier. And make sure you draw the hands on there too. Um, number seven, hopefully your pencils are still down and you're listening because number seven is a listening skill question. So I am going to read this one to you. Okay, so you can pick your pencils back up and we're all gonna do number seven together. Okay, all right, here we go. Brandon and Caden each took eight pictures on the mule ride to the bottom of the Grand Canyon. How many pictures did both boys take? I'm gonna read it again. Brandon and Caden each took eight pictures on the mule ride to the bottom of the Grand Canyon. How many pictures did both boys take? And there is a workspace there, okay? I shouldn't have showed you that. All right, well, I just gave you a freebie if you looked at the answer. Um, there is a workspace there. Please use your workspace, okay? Um, and go ahead and finish the rest of the test, hopefully on your own, not with the help of big brother, big sister, and mom and dad and not with the help of just me showing you the test either. <laughs> All right, uh, happy Friday and I will talk to you soon, bye.